analytics wasn't that popular, to be honest. Um, I was the only analyst in the Brussels office. I was stuck, to, stuck away in a corner. Nobody really wanted to talk to me. Nobody cared talking to me. It was, it was very lonely. Um, and that has really changed, because now everybody's talking about data, and data has become sort of the um, subject that everybody wanna, wants to talk about. And analysts are now the rock stars of the marketing world, which is still um, takes a while to get used to. I don't like the term big data. I, I think it sounds scary. It sounds like something we need to hide from or, or something that is going to crush us. Um, and, and it doesn't. I think data is actually um, it's a very intimidating subject to many, but it shouldn't be. The last couple of years, obviously, a lot more data has become available. And that data is, uh, in many cases, digital. And I think one of the, one of the exciting things about digital data is that, that is the speed at which it becomes available. So you can get, actually, data in the hands of decision makers very, very quickly. Real-time data is now enabling marketers to really interact with their customers on a real-time basis. Now we can test real-time, we can test at scale, and we can test, actually, in a really cost-effective way. Uh, so testing has become really powerful, and testing allowed us, has, has allowed us as an agency also to become a lot more experimental. You can try new things out, and you can fail fast, um, and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money, and you can learn and iterate. Everybody talks about big data and, and the volumes of data. Sometimes it's just about using you know, the, the, the little pieces of information that are at your fingertips and just acting upon them. Data has always been a lot of data. There's never been really something with a small amount of data. There's already too much data coming at us. But the more the better for the technology <laughs> side. There's the fact also that people can adopt technology today in a much easier way than it used to before. That creates all kinds of disruptions in our marketplaces these days around cloud technology and so on. So the fact you can adopt technology faster is a good thing sometimes, and a lot of reasons sometimes also it creates a lot of disruptions. I talk about fast data because that's what we are facing today, fast data. When I call my bank and I have to press one for the next menu and then two and three and they want to get back to the previous one, I'm thinking, we talk a lot about these things, but we don't do much about them either, do we? 90% of mobile users keep their devices within arm's reach 100% of the time. I use my cell phone for my alarm clock too. I use all kinds of applications on it as well. I do that all the time. I can reach you so if that's if you are one of these people keeping that telephone really close to you, I can reach you at any moment, at any time. And as I come back to, with great powers, come great responsibilities. We have to be very careful on how we use that very amazingly powerful tool as well. But that is actually a statistic that has been so important to us that a lot of the work we've done we are in the technology is to allow the technology to be fast enough to respond to almost anything you can imagine. And the edge cases, and I mentioned one of them, are getting really, really precise on how we can access people at the right time, at the right moment, on the right position, in the right geographical location as well.